So, you're watching me play MLB The Show. This is the first time I'm really actually playing MLB The Show, which is not like a demo game. Um, I have it on the Xbox. It was the Game Pass. Um, so, obviously, it's my first year playing it. And I'm going to tell you something. I think for a yearly release sports game, MLB The Show might be the best sports game on the market right now. I genuinely think that. And it's not from a person that has never played the game. It's also just my understanding of just the people who play it. So you're watching me just play the Road to the Show because it's typically what I play like in the sports games. I try to work my way up. Um, I enjoy that kind of stuff. I kind of wish there was like the NCAA draft um, in, in it, but obviously you can't do that, at least at this time. But yeah, it's something I enjoy to do. And I haven't really touched Diamond Dynasty, I haven't touched GM mode and all that kind of stuff, but I intend to at some point. But at least with Road to the Show, I enjoy being able to pick things. I, I, and it actually matters, like how I talk to people and how I work with the managers is interesting to me and it actually affects how I play later on in the game and I, I enjoy that like every decision you make actually matters like when I play in NHL series my biggest problem is okay what the hell does this brand like ability really mean like why do I care about the money there was really nothing to me it doesn't really affect how I play necessarily but at least with the show I'm moving forward consistently. The next biggest thing I love about at least the road to the show is the training regimens that you do, the practice actually matters. It like it actually helps. Like when I'm working on the bullpen, I'm not great at, at hitting as, as you can see. But I at least feel like I'm getting better every time I go into the not the bullpen, but the batting cages to actually go work on my swings or work on my PCI placement, um, which batting, it, it's just a struggle. I, I chose this one because I know it's a little bit tougher and I didn't want to just be hitting buttons. I kind of wanted to be consistently getting better and playing a little bit of harder style. And I enjoy that. Um, I am constantly feeling like I'm working on getting better in the game and I'm not just getting lucky. And that's kind of cool to see because you can definitely see my average, or at least I've seen my average go up as I consistently played. And it, the batting in it, it just makes so much sense to me. Like, it's, it's tough, but it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, I haven't jumped into the little bit harder, like the more precision for the pitching yet, but at least for the batting, the batting is just fun. Um, I, I like the graph that tells me how bad I did, like exactly, am I too late, how early am I, where is my PCI placement compared to with ball is, is this why I did it, because then I can actually work on that mid-game and, and fix it up. I also, I'm a, so in the show I, I am a two-way player, I'm a center fielder and a pitcher. Pitching is, is interesting to me because I like the quick time event, I like that the better I do, the not necessarily the easier it gets, but it's a little bit makes more sense. Like if I'm starting to give up hits and I'm starting to give up runs, the little bar goes smaller and smaller and smaller until about I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm up to pull it now. I enjoy that. It, it makes it makes more sense to me than just having a guy come in and just being able to just smoke show throughout the entire thing. It's a good way of showing confidence. So, I'm just going through the other day, and I didn't realize I had like 50,000 stubs or something like that. I don't play Diamond Dynasty, and now I actually might. But at least, it is crazy. I just play the game, and I'm getting a crap ton of stuff. And I'm not pulling just crap cards either, which is kind of insane to me. Like, I pulled a diamond, I pulled a gold, I pulled some decent players, like, I didn't spend a dime. 
I know you can spend a lot of money on this game just to, you know, work your way up, but I'm also, I can just sell a lot of things. Like, I, I got a couple, like, equipment cards that I quick sold for 10 grand, 20 grand each, and I'm like, okay, like, I don't care about this stuff. I know some people might, but it goes further into me getting better players and better cards. I'm just like, that's crazy. And that goes into my point of, like, this game consistently, year after year, people are not disappointed. They might, well, I, I don't, I'm not going to say disappointed. They, they might be a little bit disappointed here and there, but at least with the monetization aspect of it, people are not annoyed with it. Like, 2K series, they wreck you it to get what you need to do that. And same with FIFA, uh, Ultimate Team. Hut or Madden Ultimate Team, like, you need to spend the money to do it, but at least, like, to even, like, somewhat compete, but at least in Diamond Dynasty on the show, I'm getting decent people, like, I, I don't get it. Why can't all games be this, I guess, kind? Because then, at the same time, it's like, you know you're not going to be having to spend a crap ton of money on it, like, to just even put out a decent team, like, I bet you you could put out a decent team and maybe paint like a couple bucks here and there, and it just makes sense to me, and it's just not a awful way of doing it, and it seems like the marketplace prices are pretty fair, and the quick sell prices seem pretty fair to help you get actually better stuff that you actually would want in the future. I, I watch people on the show play all the time and I, I like the customization aspect of the fields and that looks cool that looks fun could I easily download some of the stuff yeah like I can go play the sandlot if I want to go create have that as my home or I can have the bench warmer stuff people are very creative with this game and it kind of feels like Sony is being you know cool about this I'm kind of impressed by the show and it's definitely going to be a game that I'm going to be playing for the future um and it seems like more and more people are going to be transferring over. And I kind of hope Madden, NHL, I don't play 2K, but I kind of hope 2K takes its thought from it. Um, so, yeah, I'll be playing more in the future. And I uh, hope you guys give it a chance. Even if you're not a big fan of baseball, give it a shot. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do that normal YouTube thing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.